It's a dull, but it's a dull that I expect. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review of Supernatural Season 15, Episode 9, The Mid-Season Return, and just like Supernatural of the old, tested and true, the mid-season finale was boring. Funny how much is in this episode, at the same time there isn't anything. Cass and Dean go to purgatory, all the while knowing that Sam is being tortured by Chuck. They think that this is the one way they can do it. They go there, they get cornered by some leviathans, they go to sleep, Cass then off screen gets the fruit flower thingy, beats up a bunch of leviathans, escapes them, but we don't need to see that because we see Dean have a conversation with himself to Cass about all of his feelings again. I would have cared about this scene if I hadn't seen it so many times prior in this show. It's not a bad scene. Ackles does some really great acting in this scene, but just the dialogue he's got is not exactly the most intuitive or if anything different from what we've seen. And it's because this episode was written and directed by Robert Singer, the laziest man in this entire franchise. I can see that he did put some effort, God forbid he actually tried to put some angles, but the episode still moves without any real purpose because at the end of the episode, Nothing's changed. I know it's trying to emanate this idea of bleakness, but then the end of the episode, the very, very end of the episode, kind of makes it pretty certain that what they're going to try and do, which is replace Chuck with Jack. If they do something else, it will also just be pulled out of their ass, because right now that's what they're doing with this ending. I feel that the writers see the fans have theories of what they're going to do, and so they change it because the fans have already predicted it. For instance, all the different visions of the failures of the brothers, instead of it being just actual possible situations, it's apparently Sam and Dean's from other worlds. It's Chuck's memories, which, ugh. This has happened with different shows like Westworld or Game of Thrones where the fans are able to predict this shit and then they change it because the fans predicted it. And I remember George R. R. Martin saying something about it, you should just stick with it, like, it doesn't matter. I feel that that's what they're doing. They keep on coming to a point where they have an idea and then they just change it because the fans predicted it. This episode isn't bad, it's not very entertaining though, and it leaves you with this feeling of, uh, and honestly, I didn't realize that this episode came out yesterday. I thought that they were changing the airing date to Friday, but I guess I was wrong. Either way, this episode's uh, it's not exactly the greatest, it's not bad either, there's some good music in it, some decent acting. I admit I actually kind of like the idea that Sam was convinced of Chuck's different alternative world, even though it's the end from season 5 all over again. I'm gonna give this episode a 3 out of 7. It's not the greatest episode, it's just as predictably disappointing as every single mid-season finale has been for a while of this show. So I'm not exactly surprised. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys for the next one. Woo. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.